here's that building. I haven't painted, started painting it yet. I guess we could, we could do that. Put, put a little bit of paint on this. Probably almost have another coat of goop though. You can see like in some of the uh, bullet holes and stuff, you can see a little bit of pink in there. Now when you, when you first put your first coat of paint on, you know, mix a little bit of white blue in with your paint as you put it on there. It makes a really tough coating. It makes it a little bit glossy, but you can always dull that down with paint on top of that. Okay. So, but for a base coat, that's not bad. This ain't bad at all. Now, I did, yeah, this has only had one coat on it. Maybe that's, that's what's going on. Lost a little bit of detail in the, the skulls and stuff. Well, I'll zoom in later. And in the pictures on that last one, part 23, at the end of it, I've put on a couple some pictures. And you can see along in here, you can tell that the crack is there. At least I can tell. It really bugs me. You know, it's just, it's so it's subtle, but I don't know if you can see. But you can see it's just slightly down, you know. Anyways. It looks, I mean, it looks, it looks good, and you know, if the building was rubbled to this point, well, my God, it would have some stress marks, lines, and fractures in it, anyways. Okay. So now it depends on kind of what you're, what you're going to do. Okay. A lot of this pilling effect. Let's see if I can zoom in. Where the heck did I put that? Uh, where can I show it? You know what? You, you'll notice it lots on on areas like this, right on the corners and stuff like that, where there's well, not right on the corners, but you know, on the on areas that you've done this, where I filed it roughly with my uh, uh, rasp. Okay. It it pills a little bit, and 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 you've got little bumps sticking out. Now, they look good, but, you know, at some point, somebody's going to go, you know, or you're going to go pick, pick, and it's going to peel on you or come off or something, eh? And then sometimes the bumps just don't match up, like this one here, it just shouldn't really be there, eh? It doesn't make sense for it to be there. So, that's actually was a gob in my goop, it looks like. So those I usually take out at this stage. Uh, a little bit of sandpaper is really nice. You know, like here, there's just a little pill of something. I don't know. It, you know, probably what it is is the sand. Didn't realize it was that close. Holy jeez. <laughs> okay, back this up. Uh -huh. Give it a light white with sandpaper, I guess. This is basically what I'm trying to say. And you'll get rid of all those little imperfection dots and stuff that really shouldn't be there. get off prior to putting your coat of goop on. You can do it with a with a heat gun, you know, not a hair dryer, but a heat gun, and, and it and basically put another skim coat back on this stuff. And then you can give it, and you still have to give it a light sandpaper because all it does is it crystallizes those little bumps, eh? Do it outside. Myself, I usually just kind of give it a light sanding prior to gooping it, which roughs up the surface, and then I goop it, 
and then I give it another light sand, and then I put another coat of goop on it usually. Adding a couple layers of that goop makes it sort of a laminated process, process and it really toughens up then, you know, it'll take a dump, a fall onto the floor without burgering too much. Depending on, you know, how well you put your first coat of goop on and stuff like that. And lots of times you can just call it a day right, right at this point. You know, the sanding gives it a nice off mark. You know, it, it'll, look, it'll look really good. I haven't even painted it yet. any of this stuff, just maybe try indenting it back into the hole some more. No. Uh, I guess we'll just go with what that is. You'll see little pieces where your foam is starting to show through in spots. Yeah, that's usually why I put a second coat on. But you have to be careful so that you don't, you know, lose too much of your detail. You can add some more bullet holes at this stage too if you want. Just got enough on this one now actually. Be nice to cut out a panel or two of this. You have to use your Dremel or something like that. You go slow. You have to be careful, because I left the plastic on these ones. You see it's being a window cleaning. Oh well, it's a double pane glass. <laughs> I can always take it off later. Or change the, the stained glass portion of it, because the plastic's in there. Eh? So... I will probably give this just a wash. I hear noises. Bear with me. Nothing serious. Bird, birds. Birds fighting on the bird feeder out in front. I got a... Uh, not a whiskey jack. What the hell is he? Remember now, oh, Lord, I actually looked him up. Anyways, he's a fairly big bird, long, long beak. Anyways, of course, as soon as I go to mention it, I, I forget what he's called. And he's having a scrap with uh, magpies. Eh? There's four magpies. Eh? He's on his own. He holds his own pretty good, actually. So anyways, I've got to block a suet out there eh, with some seeds and stuff in it. Eh? And uh, he always comes out. And He'll be eating there, and he'll he'll knock things down, eh, into the snow. So I've I've shoveled a little bit of a area there for him. And anytime I shovel the sidewalk, I just push the shovel a couple times over that way too, eh. And so they've got an area there, and you can see where the magpies they they sit down there and wait for him to drop stuff, eh. Every now and then, if it's a big piece, he'll he'll fly down there and he'll steal it right out of the magpie <laughs> right the magpie's mouth, eh. It's it's hilarious, sir. Uh, what the hell is he called? Anyways, he's a big gray bird with a long beak. So, uh, I also have a windowsill one, eh? It's kind of set up like a farm scene, eh? I think I did it in a video, one of those videos back there, eh? But, uh, so they were scrapping on it. But, obviously, they've just discovered that. <laughs> 